Hello friends, <clears throat> a very commonly asked question nowadays because by most of the students, what should be our strategy to prepare NEET and AIMS exam which are about to come and today I am here to tell you what planning you should do for the preparation of NEET and AIMS, more particular about NEET exam. First planning is Today is 11th October. So the next few days, you should fill up your gaps. What do you mean by gaps? Here is a road, very badly damaged road. You have, Mercedes, you have a Mercedes car. You cannot drive more than 20 km per hour. Why? The road is so bad. But if somebody makes a beautiful road, your speed will go to 120 km per hour. Same road, uh, same driver, same car speed increases from 20 to 120. Same principle holds true for you also. So today, after listening to this lecture, you ask yourself, there are 19 subjects which you have to read. You ask yourself which topic are weak, which subject are weak. Your next few days, depending on your preparation, you should be you should fill up the gaps. Remember, in PG entrance exam, every topic and every question is important. So this is your first thing you should fill up a gap. Second, once you have filled up the gaps, second you start revising. Since you already have filled up your gap, your confidence level will go very, very high. Now, how you should study? After that, you should start reading retrograde. Retrograde. What do you mean by retrograde? You must be doing some MCQs book you must be consulting. You should read that. First, you read the questions. Plan. Suppose you plan to read diabetes in medicine. Okay? You read the questions. Try to solve the question. And see what mistakes you are doing. Then you go back to your notes. Remember, which books should I read for theory? Your own notes, which you have made during the preparation your own notes are the best to study. So suppose you are getting any extra point, you add in point whatever you are getting. It should be added to your own notes. It's very often, very common that you people, some students, they read one topic from various books. And when they in the exam, they go and some point is written in one book, other point is written in other book. Their mind keep on searching where I read it. Remember, whole knowledge should be consolidated at one place. That is your own notes. Remember, read, read to great. You, uh, you attempt the question. Then you see what mistake you are doing. If you are doing, suppose you have done 10 questions. One is right, two right, three wrong, four right, five wrong, six right, seven wrong, eight right, nine wrong, 10 right. So you mark it. In the next cycle, you read only those questions which you have done wrong. So now in the next cycle, you don't have to read all the questions. The so second point is read retrograde. And the third point where I told you, always read your class notes. They should be your basic. And you keep on adding extra point in your notes. Now, next point. A common problem, we read a lot, but we forget. How to remember? How to remember? Try to study in group. Group study is always better than the individual study. So when you discuss the thing, you understand better. Your memory becomes better. So group, so you can plan your study with your colleague or friends. 
you read same topic he read same topic then you do question and the queue you keep on discussing discussion may be face to face which is the best but at time your friend is very far off staying very far off you can discuss on mobile also purpose is to understand the subject discussion is the best way of studies now a very commonly asked question very commonly asked, how many question should i attempt okay remember if you want to get, want to get a good branch you should get minimum 65% mark if you want to get a want a good branch in a good college and as as you know in neat exam if you do right you get four mark you don't do that you don't attempt the question zero mark and if you do wrong you get minus one agreed now i told you you need minimum 65 percent marks how many questions should i do those questions you are very sure you should do of course if you know 300 questions you should do all 300 questions. Who says don't do 300 questions? A common myth that you should do 290 question, 280 question. No, if you know whatever you know, you should do. Now there will be a few questions where you have doubt between the two. Between the two. Between two. Out of four options, two you have doubt. You should surely do these questions. You can take a risk on this if you know, if you choose any one of them. Why? Suppose there are five questions, suppose there are ten questions, and you have taken a blind game, and by uh, uh, and you have chosen one after the two. Five done right, five wrong. If you do five right, you get 20 mark, you have done 5 wrong, you get minus 5, you still get a balance of 15 plus point. So out of 2, you should do, must do it. Now one more question. Suppose, again, in fact this question was asked me just before my class. Sir, I know only, suppose I know only 150. I am sure I have done right. What about rest 150, about which I'm not sure? It is a million dollar question. Believe me, the student said just now before the class, I know, suppose I know only 150, and rest, rest 150 I've got no, nothing, I don't know. With 150 I cannot get a seat. Now what should I do? Then then you have to play a full blind game. Remember, it is now the statement what I am making is for those who are sure that we are not coming into 65% mark. In that case, you can take a very blind game, very blind. You can mark anything. You Maybe the you mark all the A's. You can play blind game. Okay? In that case, maybe one A or C, whatever you want, you can take a blind game. Whatever you want, you can do. But it is not a good method. I say very honestly as a teacher. This is a total blind game where you have you tied your eyes with the putty and you are blinding. But why not to work hard right now? Work hard so that you are in the range of 65%. Okay? So you don't have to go for blind game at all. However, you should try to mark 270 questions at least. 270 percent you try to mark so that you come in the range of getting a seat. Right? And all of you who have joined me on my WhatsApp or on Facebook, I'm sending them daily last minute revision points and I have got tremendous good response about last minute revision points. Students are liking like this thing. So all of you who have joined me, they are getting this last minute revision point. Friends, you read this last minute revision point. At least 
seventy percent questions will come from this last minute division point. What are these? These are the latest questions. What one learner answer of the latest question which have come in the last three years of NEET and AIMS exam. And all, in fact, all these last minute revision points are from our books only. Many of you have these books, and in every subject, in every chapter, we have given last minute revision point. In fact, you should read 20 point daily. It will take only five minutes to read. In the next two months, you shall be able to revise, read this topic many times, and your problem of solving. 270 questions will be very very easy for you so this is again a good tip go to last minute revision points okay right sir so now one more thing i like to say something just before the exam just before the exam when you are when you are writing the exam it's a computer based test when you are writing them, it's quite possible that A, A, B, C, D. And what student says, oh, I'll do later on. Remember, later on you cannot do. You, can, you, will, you will not have time to come back. If you cannot decide now, you cannot decide after three hours also. There's nothing extra memory is going to come after three hours. Decide right now. A a night before the exam, suppose exam is tomorrow, usually exams start in the morning at 10 a.m. A sincere advice to you, have a proper sleep for of six hours at least before you go for exam. Okay? So you regulate your sleep cycle right now. Many of you sleep late. Suppose you are sleeping, reading till 4 a.m. in the morning. So your sleep cycle is adjusted for 4 a.m and you get up in the morning at 11, 11 a.m. But on the day of exam, you have to reach your center by 9 a.m. You have to start at 8 a.m. You have to get up in the morning at 7 a.m. If you have no proper sleep, you will not be able to do the exam properly. And this mistake is done by 30% of the students. So make your sleep cycle adjusted now so that we are in that still you have two months you can regulate your sleep pattern so that you are able to perform very well in the exam so friends the criteria of success is 65 percent if you want to want to get a good branch and try to do 270 questions and if you know all there's no harm in doing all the questions okay and of course picture based questions are important all of you have attended our vibe you must be having the book of vibe also do read that vibe book and you can read last minute revision point for our books also thank you very much if you have any question to ask me feel free to contact me on my whatsapp or via messenger also i'll be always there to help you out in all the possible way i am the best of the best friend for all of you for guiding you at every step of your career Thank you very much for watching this video.